Hey guys, Raymond here talking about Filipino martial arts, self-defense, and Filipino culture in general. Right now, what I'm going to talk about is twirling in Arnis. So if any of you guys have seen any kind of Arnis demonstration or performance, you've probably seen some guys twirl like what I just did. Alright? And sometimes I've been asked, why do you twirl? Okay? Now to be fair though, there are some Filipino martial arts that do not do twirling. And the mentality that they have is, you know, you should be more direct with your approach. Like if I hit a guy, bam, I hit him, he's down, why twirl? I don't need to learn to twirl to be able to hit a guy like that. Alright? Um, to a certain extent, true. Alright? But I have to tell you guys, my style does a lot of twirling. And if you've seen any of my light server videos, you'll see me twirl those things quite a lot. Now, are twirlings just for show? Absolutely not. And I think there is a room for twirling in the curriculum of Arnis or Filipino martial arts. Now, why do we twirl? Okay, I agree with the guys that I don't twirl to strike. All right? Well, I might in a specific context, right? So twirl strike, possible in certain contexts. If you're trying to throw off the timing, like bam, bam, twirl strike, maybe it can work, right? Um, but that's not part of the reason why I do twirling. The reason why I incorporate, I still incorporate twirling is it really does help your performance in the long run. True, this does not require a lot of agility with your hands. But as you become more proficient with uh, arnis, then you need more sophisticated techniques, a lot of block and counters, right? Now, this is my favorite example to show the usefulness of uh, twirling. This little twirling technique, all right, a lot of people think it's just showy, all right? But if you break it down, this first movement is a block, all right? I'm blocking his weapon. Um, for people who do uh, bladed combat, it's very interesting because what's happening is you're actually blocking with the spine. You can block with the spine, all right, then you flick down, pam, 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 all right, double check, and then your point is already there. All right, again, this is the twirl, all right, block, keep the hand down, and then stab, all right? So higher level techniques that are more block and counter controlling do require a lot of agility with your hands. So that's where twirling helps. All right. So I hope I've been helpful, guys. Um, that's my thought on twirling in earnest. Hope to see you again.